Hello everyone, I am Captain Himanshu Bhagwat from HIMT. Welcome to the HIMT YouTube channel. Uh, HIMT always wants to add value to all of you and help you to pass your exams with flying colors. So there are some questions in stability which are always being asked in the class. So we thought why not to make some videos about it so that you can always revise it before the exam and find out the answers, find out the solutions. So we have we are going to start with uh, uh, Captain Subra sir's book, Ship Stability at the Operational Level, Chapter 1. Chapter 1, Question 9, which is a typical question. Everybody wants to know the answer about this question, the solution about it. <coughs> um, although it is not given directly in the syllabus, but we are going to make a series of questions in which we are going to cover all the complex questions which are frequently asked so we thought better start with the basic and uh, let me tell you it's always best to start with the basics do not leave exercise number one and two of Subrasar's book although the syllabus does not exactly mention it but this is going to build your basics so I highly recommend to do all the questions of this exercise which we do in our college also with all our students so let us dive deep and let us start chapter number one density and relative density exercise one question number nine <coughs> the question says a rectangular tank has a total depth of 10.5 meters and volume 8200 meter cube which includes a trunkway of depth 0 0.5 meter and volume 200 meter cube so what we should do first is make the figure if your figure is correct that means I would say 70% of the equation is solved correct so let us draw the figure this is the tank and this also mentions that there is a trunkway on top what is a trunkway on ships on the tanks there is a raised structure over and above the tank this was usually mostly found in earlier ships in today's ships we have got tank domes the so tank domes also raise above and they are a part of the tank only it makes total this is a very practical question so this they are giving us the volume of these two spaces separately so they are telling this question says that <coughs> the total height of this tank is 10.5 meters the total height of the tank is 10.5 meters of which the trunkway is 0 0.5 meters all right and it says that the total volume is 8200 meters 8200 sorry 8200 meter cube of which the trunkway the trunkway is 200 meter cube let us so our figure is here now they are asking find the mass of oil of rd 0 0.8 and the allege if 2% of the volume of the tank is left for expansion so dear carrots please this type of questions you have to pay the attention to the last line where they are telling the percentage of the volume of tank remember there are two types of questions one question is where they are telling percentage of volume of tank and the other questions they say percentage of the volume of oil loaded so if it is percentage of the tank it is relatively easy question for solving these questions you should be very thorough with your formulas and i always remember the formula the relation between the density mass and volume by this formula density is equal to mass per unit volume i always remember tell my students to remember this formula the other things can be uh, adjusted other things can be found out using this basic formula so let us see what they have asked they what they want the question requires you to find the mass so mass we don't know density they have given okay another point whenever they are giving rd we don't need to worry rd means density only there is no need of treating it any separately rd means basically there will be no unit to that 
that's why mostly it is mentioned rd as of as of this the scope of this lecture is now concerned we can directly take density as 0.8 so requires we require m and they have given us density which is equal to 0.8 density is equal to 0.8 <coughs> and volume volume what they are telling as 2% of the volume of tank is left for expansion so that means 2% is left for expansion 2% is left for expansion that means how much is loaded that means 98% is loaded 98% is loaded isn't it so we will find out 98% of the full tank so let us find out 98% of the full tank how to find out 98% 98% when we say per means the line for numerator and denominator with the fraction line and cent is 100 98% of of is multiplication of 8200 of 8200 98% of 8200 how much it comes <coughs> let me calculate 98 into 8200 I would recommend all of you also to calculate this because calculating a figure gives you a very good confidence when you use the figure on the calculator you punch and you get the answers your confidence level rises so now we know that it, the answer is 8036 meter cube so we have to load 8036 meter cubes of cargo all right so now we have got the volume 8036 meter cube so next step is we have to find out the mass so we know mass using this formula which is in front of us we know mass can be written as density into volume so let us just put the figures density is given to us at 0 0.8 and volume is 8036 8036 so you multiply 0 0.8 into 8036 8036 and you get answer 6428.8 metric tons 6428.8 metric tons so this is the volume of oil loaded in this tank okay so this is our answer number one we got first answer now we have to find out the allege okay so let me erase this part let me erase this part and now we have to come back to our figure and here we saw that the trunk weigh is 200 so how much is the volume of the tank 8000 8000 is the volume of the tank but how much we got the volume of the tank we got volume of the oil sorry we got volume of oil we got as 8036 correct volume of oil is equal to 8036 meter cube that means the oil has been oil got filled up in this portion and it also reached up to here <coughs> So our tank is completely full up to here and the oil has also entered here. <coughs> so ultimately now what we have to find out is this alleged space. This is very important to give attention that how much is the tank filled. So otherwise our answer will be wrong. So we know that 8036 means it is more than 8000 means this square rectangular portion is filled and it has gone into the trunk way also so now how much it has gone so now we are going to solve the how much is the allege so like i said this is the allege from the top of the tank up to the level of the oil all right so now we have to find out this allege of the empty space so what is the volume of the empty space volume of the empty space let us find out the volume of empty space volume of empty space will be equal to l into b into h that is the volume of any space so here what will be the h here here our h will be the allege okay 
L into B we don't know. No problem. We will find out. Volume of empty space. Do we know? Yes. That we can find out. How we can find out? The total volume is given as 200. Minus how much is filled? The filled is 36 cubics. Right. Now you will say sir 36. How you got 36? It's simple. Because volume of total oil is 8036. So total volume is 8036. Minus we remove the area of the big tank. So you get 36. So only 36 cubic has gone into the trunkway. So now hence it is we got a 36. Now 200 minus 36. How much we get? 200 minus 36 will be equal to 164. So this is 164 cubics. 164 cubic is equal to L into B into H. H means we have to find out the LH. Let it be LH. Alright. Now, how will we find what problem now we have got is to find out L into B. Can we find out L into B? Yes, we can. How we can? We have to form another equation. So, what is that equation we can form? Again, we know that the space, the volume of the trunkway is 200. So, 200 is equal to L into B into the height of the trunkway. How, what is the height of the trunkway? It is 0 0.5. So, therefore, L into B is equal to 200 divided by 0 0.5, which is equal to 400 meter cube. Sorry, 400 square meter square, 400 meter square. All right. So we put 400 into this and we will get our answer. So therefore, 164 is equal to 164 is equal to 400 into LH. Therefore, LH is equal to 164 divided by 400. 164 divide alleged is equal to 164 divided by 400 and you will get your answer which is equal to 0 0.41 meters so this is the answer second answer so i hope it is very clear to you if it is not clear you can see the video again and leave your comments in the section if you have not understood anything we can come back to that Thank you very much.